Legends of Arceus a try because it did break away a little bit. Well, it broke away a lot from uh, the standard formula that we've come to see from the Pokemon games, and it was a lot of fun as we get into a pack with a good code card. So we did do the pack trick, and let's see what we got here. Hey, baby, there is the Radiant Greninja and a Hollow Magnezone, so technically a double banger pack. I think this card is sick, even though, as I said, Greninja is not my favorite from that generation. I do think, still think Greninja is a very cool Pokemon, and I love the shiny variant, which is, you know, what these Pokemon are in their Radiant forms. I think the black is super cool. So we'll go ahead and sleeve this bad boy up. I'm a little surprised, and uh, of course I'm not putting the, the prices of any of these cards on or anything. I don't even have them in front of me, but I do know some of them off the top of my head. And I, I knew when I saw what the Radiant cards were for this set, I was like, the Halucha, the Heatran, those aren't going to be in huge demand, but with Greninja being a very popular Pokemon, I was a little surprised that it's not a a more expensive card. Maybe it's really easy to pull. I truthfully don't know. In the in the booster boxes that I've seen open, people are usually opening like two radiant cards per booster box. I feel like that's pretty common. And uh, I've actually only seen Greninja a handful of times. But you know, like I said, maybe it is just way easier to pull than what we think still a very cool card regardless of value very playable too i know i haven't talked about the playability of a lot of the cards but a very cool ability if you're you're playing a water deck uh greninja is probably the radiant pokemon that you want to be playing as we get another bad code card but as we've seen that doesn't necessarily mean anything we got heracross mantine a Sui and Quillfish, a Sui and Basculin, Ref Hall, Super Effective Glasses, yeah, or Saluna, blah, 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 blah. Nothing crazy out of that one. We're getting down to the end of the left side of the box. We'll see if we get anything else crazy. Still definitely have the possibility of a big banger from Trainer Gallery. I'm not expecting another secret rare. It, of course, would be awesome if we got it. As I fight with this pack. Another white coat card will go straight through. Yeah, nothing crazy out of that one. Which is fine. We are okay. We are doing, doing quite well. Of course, you guys can see the the hits that we've got back there thus far. I'm I'm not complaining at all. Very happy. I mean, this is my, my first experience opening up a booster box. And hey, you know what? I'm getting to share it with you guys. So that's pretty cool. It's a lot more fun. I, even though, well, I guess I can't say because I've never opened one by myself. But I feel like it's just more fun being able to share the experience with other people as we crack open another bad code card and open up a whole bunch of nothing not complaining but we are starting to get a little bit cold would like to see a big hit soon or a hit you know doesn't have to be anything crazy let's see an ultra rare let's see a hyper rare come on astral radiance don't do me dirty Yeah, if you guys are liking the video, man, drop me a like, baby. Drop me a comment. Let me know what you guys want to see in future videos. Uh, I want to keep this thing going, man. I'm, I'm enjoying myself, and I hope you guys are too. So as we get into another one, Rev Hollow Cleavor and a Not Hollow Hasui and Braviary. Braviary was... One of my favorite Pokemon from Black and White, which are probably my favorite games, in case you guys were wondering. Um, not crazy about Hisui and Braviary, though. I don't know. I mean, 
mean, I guess a, a flying psychic type is kind of cool, other than, that's the only one I can think of, other than uh, Lugia and Zatu from Gen 2. Oh, I was just talking about black and white. We can't forget about, uh, oh man, I'm drawing a blank on this Pokemon's name. Uh, it's the, it's the flying psychic type thing. It looks really weird. It's only got one eye. Hey, you know what? Drop down in the comments. Let me know what Pokemon I'm thinking of that I cannot think of its name for whatever. It'll probably pop up to me as soon as I stop recording and then I'm going to feel foolish. But as we get into a pack that had a good code card, let's see what we got. Hey, we got a hollow Hisuian Typhlosion. Not bad. Uh, speaking of Hisuian Typhlosion, um, I'll probably do a little short video just showing you guys that um, I got a membership at GameStop, which is a great place to buy Pokemon cards at if they have them in stock. I have noticed that their prices are very good compared to, you know, your Walmarts, your Targets, things of that nature. And if you have their, I think it's called the Power Up Membership, you get a free promo card every time you spend $10. And that's why I brought up the Hisuian Typhlosion, because yesterday I went in, I spent my $5 that I'm allowed monthly to get a free booster pack, and they actually went ahead and gave me the promo card, which is that Hisuian Typhlosion. It's just stamped with the, uh, the Astral Radiance logo. So we got a good code card, so we're going to kind of go through. Oop, yep, something's peeking back there, baby. Our dry spell is over. <gasps> oh, my God. <laughs> How lucky are we? Holy crap, man. This is, as of the recording of this video, this is the most expensive card in the set. Last I looked. This is going for $120, and it's definitely, I mean, probably my number one chase card in the set. I love Machamp. I've got that nostalgia from Gen 1, and this artwork is so, so sick. I mean, and it's just pretty funny. Like, it's it's beautiful, but it's also just a funny card of, like, Machamp carrying all this stuff and being all helpful or whatever. But, man, what a... I was just talking about how crazy it would be if we got two secret rares and we did and one of them is like the biggest money card in the set as of right now holy crap we have got to immediately sleeve this bad boy up and immediately put it in a top loader whoa i mean i told you guys at the beginning of the video what i paid for this box and I, I know it wasn't, it may have been $120 after taxes. If that price on that card stays the same, I mean, that, that's, pay, that's paid for the booster box in just that one pack. Like, that, that is insane. I'm going to show it to you guys one more time before uh, we crack open another pack. We'll definitely show it again at the end of the video. But, oh my goodness, what a cool card. I apologize for the glare, but, I mean, this is kind of the best I can do right now, guys. Centering looks pretty good. I mean, it's, I think it might be a little off left to right, maybe. Yeah, it's, it's definitely a little off left to right, but not bad, right? Like, it, it's not way, way off or anything like that, but. I mean, either way, just a super, super cool card. In the front of it looks great. I don't see any print lines or anything like that. So, hey. That was the last card on the left. I believe that was the last card on the left side. Maybe it was the first in the first few on the right side. But I don't know how we top that, guys. I, I honestly don't. I'm just... I got to take a minute, and I apologize for the dead air. Absolutely nuts. Biggest card in the set in my very first booster box opening. Not only on the channel, but my very first booster box opening, period. 
I mean, we can open absolutely nothing on the rest of this box. And I'm not even going to care. I'll just sit here and talk to you guys, you know. Uh, so getting back into this next one. That was a bad code card, so we'll just go straight through real quick. Hey, baby. We're on fire. We're, we're on fire. That's all I can say. We got the Phalanx Trainer Gallery card. I I just noticed from when I opened the Mod Champ, I just dropped all those cards and then wasn't even, didn't even put them to the side like how I've been doing this whole time. That's that's nuts. We'll sleeve this bad boy up real quick and uh, put it up here with the rest of our hits. Dude, our hits are out of control right now. And I mean, there's still quite a few packs back there. I mean, we're probably going to get some more, right? Uh, let's see, what, what do we want to open? What do we want to open? I think, as I said, would really like to see that, that Garchomp Trainer Gallery. Uh, if we're talking about value, the, the Starmie's definitely the most valuable. Uh, you know, I said I love Decidueye. Would love to see that full art of the Decidueye V. We got a good code card, so we'll do the pack trick. See what we got going here. Got the Grass Energy. The Switch card, Uxi, Swine Up, Chat Up, Ponyta, Cricketop, Reggie Steel, and a Hollow Keldeo. Keldeo is such a random Pokemon to me. I don't. I'm sure some of you guys out there probably like it, but I know it's. Is it a a legendary or a, a mythical something of that nature? But it's just. I don't know. It's just kind of like a. I just don't think it looks that cool, right? <laughs> It, it doesn't look like it should be a mythical or a legendary. It honestly looks like it should be a base Pokemon that evolves. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know how wrong I am on that one, too. So this pack didn't look like it had, yeah, a white code card. We'll put that to the side, see what we got here. Rev Hollow Toad, Kiss, Mam Swine. Yep, nothing crazy there. I think it's honestly at this point, from what I've seen from this booster box, maybe I should just, well, I don't know. <laughs> we'll go ahead and do the pack trick because that, that opened the that alt art mod champ. But um, yeah, I feel like I've had pretty good luck with every time I say, oh, this is a white code card, so we won't bother doing the pack trick. And then I open up like a cool trainer gallery card. So yeah, uh, you guys are probably just going to have to deal with me saying that like every time because that's... It is what it is. I I would not say I'm superstitious, but, you know, why fix it if it's not broken, right? We did have a good code card. Got the black border, so we did do the pack trick on this one. We're on fire. <laughs> We're just on fire. Got the full art Jirachi. Pretty sick card, man. We cannot be stopped right now. You guys should probably, you know, if you open a booster box and you, you know, you feel like you have bad luck, hey man, just send it to me. I'll send you all the cards back, right? You know, I'll, I'll open the cards for you at, at this rate, right? Maybe that should be my new thing is opening up other people's booster boxes for them because... No. It's probably beginner's luck. It's probably because this is my first video, my, you know, my first time opening a box, my first time recording myself opening up a box. That's probably why we've had this crazy luck. But speaking of crazy luck, we we talked about how nuts it would be if we got two secret rares. We did. How crazy would it be, guys, if we had three secret rares, right? As we go into another white code card, we'll kind of go through quick on this one. Yeah, nothing nuts. So, that's fine. That's fine. As I've said, <laughs> I was saying this before we even opened that Alt Art Machamp, that we could open up nothing in the rest of the box, and I'd be okay with it. And uh, I'm, I'm definitely okay now, right? Like, zero, zero complaints. Man, I just, I cannot get over that. That is so wild. I don't think, I've watched quite a few booster box openings of this set, and I don't think I've ever seen two secret rares 
in a box, but hey, what are you going to do? I don't know why I did the pack trick on this. It was a white code card, but we'll kind of go through this. Video is getting kind of long, so hey, Kingdra baby. I have this card already, but it's still a very cool card. Really like this. Got more of the uh, the Gen 2 Gym Leader love in there. Got Claire with her Kingdra. Who is a very cool Pokemon, and that is a Kingdra itself. I mean, if we're talking stat-wise, not super broken, but that is just a phenomenal typing with being Water Dragons. Also, the typing of Palkia, who is obviously very prevalent in this set. As we slice another one open, we're coming down to the end here. I can't quite see, but I'm wanting to say that looks like probably about another 10 packs back there. As we get into another white code card, we'll go through this one kind of quick, see what we got. Yeah, nothing too crazy out of there. This has been ridiculous. I, I just absolutely cannot get over how ridiculous this has been. Though I, I never mind. I'm not even going to say it. I was going to say, I kind of wish those big hits had been towards the end of the video because now it's like, we're just not going to open anything at the end. But like, who cares, right? I mean, you, you can't beat an actual legitimate reaction of, you know, being surprised by what you opened. We did get another black border coat card on this one, even though I... I know I've been doing it a lot of it off camera. I'm just kind of trying to do this at a decent pace so I don't bore you guys to death with uh, seeing me opening, fighting with the packs and stuff. But what do we got here? Got a hollow mill tank. Not bad, not bad. Let's see, let's do a quick count right here. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So yeah, seven packs remaining. Let me know what you guys have had. If you guys have opened up this set, have you had good luck with your pulls? I mean, have you had something crazy like that happen where you open up, like, two secret rares in your box? Like, that's crazy, right? Absolutely crazy. Yeah, nothing in this one. I kind of feel like these last packs we're not going to get anything too crazy and that is okay that is very much okay we have absolutely crushed this box i mean just devastated this box right so i mean anything that we get from here on out is just kind of like bonus points right i mean i've i've seen some people open up this set and i mean they would get a secret rare, but it would be like a gold trainer card or something like that, right? And I mean, that's got to be kind of a bummer. Hate to see that kind of thing happen, but as we get into a black border, so we did do the card trick, and we got, hey, Machamp V, another, <laughs> not quite as cool as the other one we opened, but I do love uh, the artwork on this Machamp V. I think that's really cool. Um, I'm definitely more of a fan of when Pokemon just sort of let the artist draw, like kind of go crazy with what they do, as opposed to like, you know, most of the standard V cards are uh, like computer render, like 3D rendering of the Pokemon, which is fine, but I definitely more so prefer the artists actually doing their own thing and yeah, just kind of giving Given the Pokemon, given their card, their own kind of flavor, their own little touch. So, as we get into another white code card, let's see what we got. Just gonna kind of, yep, yeah, nothing too crazy. Getting down here to the end of it, and. You know, regardless of what happens from here on out, this has just been fun. And I I really couldn't be more more pleased with what we've got so far. And you never know. We're we're still not done. We got another white code card, so kind of go through real quickly, yeah. Man. 
that, that <laughs> we'll go ahead and pull these last packs out so they don't fall and get this out of the way. Uh, I'm also really glad that I went ahead and set that booster box up before I started recording because like I said, since this was my, my first time doing it, I fought with that box forever trying to get to figure out how to get the, uh, the little thing of Palkia to, to stand up there and it would have wasted a lot of time. So uh, maybe I'll do a bloopers video one day so you guys can see me being a newbie and not knowing how to open up Pokemon cards on camera. Maybe that'd be kind of interesting. But I think the next video that I'm going to record is probably going to be, uh, I'll probably do a little short video, like I said, just opening up the one booster pack I got for free from GameStop and letting you guys see that promo in case you haven't seen it yet. It's pretty much the same card from the set, but it does have that Astral Radiance stamp. And then I want to do a video of uh, letting you guys see my sealed collection. So this one had a black border. We did do the card trick, and let's see what we got. Hey, man, I mean... <laughs> We got a trainer card gallery. I mean, we got an Alistair in the, in the next to last pack. Pretty cool. I did play, uh, I played Shield. I did not play Sword. I know a lot of people love uh, Bia, B, uh, however you pronounce her name, the, the fighting type gym leader. I know she has a lot of fanboys out there, but I played Shield and I battled against Alistair, so that's, a cool card for me to open personally. As we get into the very last pack, I'll probably not say anything about the code card. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see what happens when I get it open. And we'll just, uh, yeah. I saw the code card. But I'm not going to tell you guys what it was. We'll just do the pack trick and see what happens. See if we can get some last pack magic here for you guys. We got the Glaceon. Wait. That's my... Ra <laughs> Oops. I guess I spoiled it by failing to do the pack trick correctly. My bad. But hey, we had a, we had a Rev Hollow rare too. So that's, that's the last pack, guys. And uh, we'll do a quick...